Hi, I'm Doug Parnham, and I was the founder of the Calgary Boys Choir and musical director. You know, I had been uh, in two boys choirs when I was young, and so when we didn't, I couldn't find one in Calgary. Um, there may have been some very small ones, but when I was at Mount Royal, I suggested to one of the vice presidents, perhaps we could try and develop a, a Calgary Boys Choir. And so from that comment on, uh, he gave me the go ahead, and so we were advertised in the paper, and we put uh, a Saturday or two aside and asked for any boys who were interested to come. When we started, we, we just got together and sang very simple songs, um, and then we did some concerts and uh, were invited out to, to do things. Um, like, <laughs> we, we sang for Prince Philip when he was here, and um, I remember one of the instances there was, I said to the boys, now please be very quiet. So they were very good until we were finished the performance, and then, wow, the roof blew off. Um, but the, the prince's comment was, oh, they're just boys. <laughs> so he was very understanding. I always felt that, you know, the boys worked exceptionally hard, and I think they needed to be recognized beyond their own little, um, you know, town or city. And so that was what it was. It, uh, we did, we, internationally, we did, uh, Oh, um, well, we did Hawaii. That was our first one, got our feet wet. And then we did Britain, and of course we did England and Scotland. But then uh, we ventured further and we went to, to Sweden and to Finland and to Russia. And I think the last one we did was to, to Japan. And so, and that was kind of the culmination because that was the last one. I took the boys in, and I think that was in 1991. Well, one day the phone rang at the office, and it was David Foster. Well, you know, there's not many David Fosters around, so um, I, you know, picked up the phone and talked to him, and he said, well, he was looking for a boys' choir because he was doing a special TV special from BAMP in the hotel. So uh, <laughs> this was fine, uh, but I said, you've never heard the choir. And I, I, he said, well, can you play me something? So I said, well, yes, I've got a tape here. And so I just played him that over the phone. And when we were finished, we had the job, which you know was kind of astounding because usually there, you expect them to listen to the choir in person and one thing or another. But he must have been happy with what he heard, so he hired us. I do appreciate the, the opportunity to speak to you, but also the fact that, um, you know, congratulate you that you've been able to keep the choir going for 40 years for the parents and the boys and all the alumni. There must have been, I don't know how many hundreds of boys gone through the choir. and. Um, and I'm just so thrilled when I hear what some of them are doing uh, and have accomplished. Some of them very have done very well. Um, well, thank you for the memories. Uh, they're very, very vivid uh, in my mind, and they make me smile and remember um, a lot of things. And I think I'd just say that I, I was rather strict. And so I'll sign off by saying I was a benevolent dictator.